just a gold mine. Bonjour! Hello. Oh, um, how to say hello in Spanish? Hola. Hola. Aloha. 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 Right, it is Monday the 15th of April, which means badminton is in a week and one day. Oh, that's not right. Two weeks and one day. <laughs> I'm so jet lagged. We went to Ascot yesterday, very, very jet lagged today, not feeling great, but mum thinks it's the perfect time to go cross country schooling, so off we go. So this is part of the two week prep to Babington vlog. Um, yeah, and we're going cross country schooling for the first time this year. We've done three events and now we're going cross country schooling. Seems sensible, but hey ho. Got Bear in the back, got Mum in the front. <laughs> That's all there is to it really. And we're yeah. off to Sapi. Off to Sapi, yeah. The owner's been Orgy very, very, very kind. Very kind yeah. Oh and let us go because unfortunately they had to cancel the BE event there last week due to um, torrential rain last Tuesday but um, luckily it's dried out enough for us to yeah. take Little Bear for a very lucky so I think it's all yeah all a flagged course hopefully so we want to practice some skinnies because yeah. we've seen the pictures of Badminton and it looks terrifying it does indeed not really scary not feeling it especially on a midget <laughs> pony yeah <laughs> So yes, that's where we're off to now. We'll get some videos of her going round. And then who knows what will be in the rest of this vlog. Some of her treatments, some of me crying. Galloping. Galloping, fitness. Yeah, it's just an all round. General, how to prepare the family so that if we ever qualify again, we can watch it. <laughs> yeah, but if we go badly, we won't want to watch it. That's Obviously true. It's bad we'll, prep. we'll watch someone else. But we'll see, yeah. All right, see you when we get to Sapie. Sapie. Adios. Bear was off. 
awesome. She's really, really good. Very happy with her. She jumped over me, went through some novice combinations. Anything we didn't find in practice is a little arrowhead skinny brush. That is our nemesis. But other than that, mum's giving me a funny look. We'll try and make one. Yeah, we'll try and make one at home. But she hasn't made them. Jumped really nicely, did lots of novice combinations. I think I said that. Very happy, a good last cross country schooling session for her for Bubbington. So she's got Solly Hole and then D Day. Good morning. Another day, another vlog. Mum's run away from the house because I told her we were vlogging again today and she's not really feeling it. Little does she know, I can just come into the barn and get her in the vlog. <laughs> What's the date today, Mum? Tuesday the 16th? I want to say the 16th. It's the day after we went cross-country schooling, which you'll have, you will have just seen. There she is, getting busy. So today, Bear is having more Babington prep. She's having... We call it electric shock treatment because we're thick, but there is a proper name for it. It's not that, but when Nikita arrives, we will get her to explain what it is. And yeah, she's been, we've been doing it for what, two years now, Mum? Longer than that, since we've got Dee Dee, in fact. Three and a bit years. Oh yeah. I've got um, my uni regionals tomorrow and I've not got anything to do my dressage test on because it's fallen on a bad day. So mum suggested doing it on the 28 year old. He's 29 in May. Well, that's, he's still technically 28 then. Yeah, he's like, nah, -uh. <laughs> not today, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we'll grab Bear Bear in and I will get Nikita to explain what she's doing because we've found it very useful. So we're having it, yeah, two weeks before she'll be going down the center line. Hopefully it'll get her all nice and supple. I'm gonna tie my hair up because it looks disgusting. Right, over and out. See you later. <laughs> Mum's not very chatty today. Oh, we're also picking up jam, which will mean another vlog, Mum. Oh, yeah, normally we we'll always come cantering over when you call her to come in. But she's only been out for about an, maybe two hours just. And she's decided she doesn't want to come in because she'll think that I'm riding her. She's actually having a lovely treatment. So I have to trek across the field to get her. Here you are. Oi, D. Sorry, Ted. A little McMuffin in. Hey, little baby. How are you feeling after yesterday? You were such a good girl. You'll have just seen the videos of her going cross country. She was absolutely epic. I was so pleased with her. Hey, baby. Just wish we had a little skinny brush to practice because that is what I'm most worried about. But we shall see. Right, I can see Nikita arriving, I believe, so I will go. Catch up with you in a bit. I'm here with Nikita now, and I've been told off for calling it electric shock treatment because it is not that. No. So can you please explain what you're doing, Nikita, and how it's going to help, and how it has helped Bear, because you Mr. came Bear. years ago. Um, so this is called ECT, which is Equine Transceiver Technique, and basically what it does is it contracts and I'll releases the muscle under, um, this is the positive, and that is the negative, so that's why it's not an electric shock. What it's doing <laughs> is it's sending out the same message what the nervous what the nervous system will send the muscle so what the spinal cord will send to the muscle to tell the muscle to move it's going to send out that exact same pulse and what it does by contracting and releasing the muscle you will stimulate blood flow if the muscle is tight that uh, you can then expand the el elasticity of the muscle so muscles have that full range of motion so like with bear bear many many years ago, two years Yeah, when ago, you first came. Bear couldn't canter, couldn't pick up a canter transition. So what we used to do is we worked a lot on what is called the iliopsoas, which is down here, which is the deepest muscle in the hindquarter. And what we did is Bear had a low-lying injury, whereas she had scar tissue in that muscle, and basically we broke up the scar tissue so that the muscle could actually contract <laughs> and release properly and then she could pick up her canter. So yeah. basically we're just making sure everything feels great for badminton and making sure she's on top top form. Yep. 
No, it's been really good for Bear actually. We've noticed a massive difference. We now have Nikita doing all of our horses. How often do we get you to come? Quite a lot. Quite often. Quite often. Nikita. It's quite far for her to come now. We've moved as well. But this time of year is fairly <laughs> crucial, isn't it? Getting ready for the event. Yeah, season. exactly. It's just all about prep and it's about maintenance. Yeah. And just making Good. sure that everything is fine. You see that? So we have this as well as like massage treatment. But is it, this goes like much deeper into the. Yes, yeah, so muscle, at the moment it? I've only just started, so this is quite superficial at the moment. And then once all the muscles are warm, then I can go a lot deeper. Yeah. So if you see here on the machine, so this is a wing screen transceiver. Oh, here we go. And basically, when I turn that dial up, uh, that's the pulse that can make it a lot deeper yeah. and then the big one is to make it harder so it all depends on what the muscle needs if you have a spasm you're not going to go in really deep and hard you're going to try and mimic the spasm and then make it make the pulse bigger to yeah. try and get the spasm out yeah so different things require different types of pulse different types of intensity yeah but that's that's sort where we train yeah exactly that's why you have to be qualified to do it because it can be dangerous if you yeah, just yeah. Don't know what pick you're up a machine and do it because, <laughs> yeah, it's quite dangerous. <laughs> Brilliant, oh, thanks for that. I will put Nikita's details in the um, link below the video if anyone wants to contact her to have their own horses done because that's been very, very useful for us. She did little Aoife the other day and we've noticed a massive difference in her already. So I'd highly recommend, as well. yeah, DD, pretty, all of our horses have been done very regularly. And it really, really helps. She was another one that um, Nikita really helped Saved. with her can. <laughs> She was back, back at number, I think it was. Yeah. She just didn't she Yeah. Didn't she was just stuck. <laughs> stuck. Yeah. She was. Yeah, it's been very, very useful. Glad we found you, Nikita. Oh, I'm glad you found me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Teddy, I'll leave you to concentrate. Good girl. Oh, <laughs> I guess my <laughs> finger. <laughs>
you to walk all the way to the bottom and then there's three different routes you can take up. All of them up pretty steep hills. That doesn't really show it. I need to get a film. Yeah, a, um, yeah I need to film it from the bottom. Because it is very steep, isn't it, Bebe? One of the, well, like the main biggest hill. You just can't really catch all the way up. It's so steep and long. It's good. I think it's over a mile. And the ground is amazing right now. Obviously can't use it in the peak of summer because it gets too hard. But this time of year, it's absolutely perfect. Hey, pretty pony. So yeah, there's actually more than three routes because you go down this bit. This isn't the steepest hill. So then that's like a little cantaloupe bit. You can go up there. That's where I've just been walking down. I wish you could actually see how steep it looks. It doesn't even like walking down it. But yeah, and then you get to the bottom bit and it's like a less steep sort of bottom pull. So we'll do that back and forth a few times and then get up the steep hill. You're so good. It's very yellow everywhere, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, does that look steep? Probably doesn't. That's annoying. <laughs> Promise it is. <laughs> you can come and have a look for yourselves. A little trot back and forth, have a little canter, and then I'll start my seven minutes timer and go from there. This pony's so good. She gets excited at the gallops, but literally not until you tell her to. Like, just, oh, okay. <laughs> you showed me up there, Bear. I was about to give you a head and off you went. There we go. Now I can. She thought that was the, the go ahead. Right, let's stop vlogging and get on with it. Hey, Bebe. Good girl. Oh, God. Just finished our seven minute stint and she felt amazing. She was so good. She just needs a little bit of time sometimes to get her breath back, just a bit of steady canter where she's not holding herself up. But then she just goes again. She's amazing. And that the last hill, she just stormed up it. She was absolutely awesome. You're puffing now, gorgeous girl, aren't you? So have a long, long walk off now. Take you back and wash you off, you little superstar. I hope you're not too tired for Solly Hole now. I wasn't, I was just sort of doing a canter as opposed to a full on gallop because I don't want to knacker her out. But yeah, buzzing with her. Well done. Oh, she wants to get up the little, little path through the woods, don't you? Come on then, you like going through there. Good girl. Right, only a couple more gallops before Badminton now. Good job she's feeling fab. Just walking her back to the lorry now. She worked so well, I didn't want to ride her back. Thought she deserved a bit of weight off your back, hey Bebe? And I'd never ride them back from cross country, so I don't see why it's any different galloping. Hey, you're just following me, little cutie. You are so good. I love you so much. Yeah, lateral sport, just opens up her gate and then... You see the actual heel square, it gives her more of a bearing surface when she lands. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very smart. There we go. I know you know next word I don't mind is this. If I'm being honest, I ain't down for this one. I know I said that thing that you don't like. And I know I said the wrong thing last night. I promise next time, babe, I'll do it different. Hey, back to Badminton prep vlog. We've got Becky on Aoife and Mum at the back there. So just to say that we've done, well, I say we, Mum and Becky have done an awful lot of hacking with Bear to make sure she's fit. She's been going up and down these hills. So it's just a crucial part of the prep really, doing long, slow rides, lots of trotting, making sure she's muscled up and got a good base fitness and keeping her happy. Normally she looks a bit happier than that, but she's had to do canter work in the school this morning. <laughs> so she's a bit stroppy. But yeah, thank you to these lovely ladies. That's all right. You're welcome. So arrived at Allen's Hill. As you'll see, I'm not in horsey clothes. Oh yeah, we can get Teddy off. <laughs> um, I've had to come straight for my boyfriends in Cheltenham. Oh, Mum's bought the pony. We've met Good here. Mum. Good old hobbit. Um, yeah, we've just come for some last minute show jumping practice after Solly Hole on Saturday. Yes, let's hope Megan's going to up her game. So, Bear's worth her game. 
there says it is not me. I can jump anything. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get our confidence back. I think we're going to jump the 19 metre. Oh, she's a keen pony. Fight down with breakup, kiss down with makeup. It's driving me to insane now. Ooh. And we keep going nowhere. Too stuck in the air. The way you keep playing me, no fair. Cause every little thing you do, keep tearing my heart in two. up back at the house obviously i'm in my car got my shopping in the back see that primark bag peeking out <laughs> um yeah so it wasn't amazing but it wasn't awful we did did the 19 she went clear but she was really spooky so we thought we'll just take her back into the 98 c because then it means we get to go home sooner and there's no point jumping her any bigger because she was jumping 110 anyway so we went back in and she was a lot more fluent she wasn't spooking as much um but she did. She was sticking her head in the air and she did that to one fence and had it down because it got too close. So she did actually have four faults in the second one. But it was more fluent and less spooky. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, don't know what she's doing. Don't know why she suddenly decided she's so spooky a week before we're meant to be going to Babington. Be, yeah, this time next week I'll have probably completed cross country. <laughs> touch wood if I'm completing uh, yeah it's just a bit annoying because like I was worried for the dressage in the cross country but I hadn't really put much thought into the show jumping but now we've had these well I had Solly Hull and then she's not jumped amazing today I'm suddenly like uh I'm really worried for show jumping when I hadn't even thought about it before but oh well <laughs> there's not I can't I'm not gonna jump her again now so I'm just gonna have to hope that today paid off I mean, she wasn't, like, she didn't stop or anything, so. Just hate her, and she jumps so big all the time. <laughs> yeah, wait for mum to pull up and go and ride the other ponies. The weather's turning, though, if you can see. It's starting to get grey. I think we'll do some rain, but that'll be good for the ground. So, yeah, more ponies and then uni work. Got my lovely Shire's breeches on. Very nice. So yeah, I will catch up with you tomorrow because Bear is having a massage, as am I. So that'll be nice. Nice treat. Toodle pip. Galloping has been cut a little bit short on account of the hail. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh no. Hello. I'm a bit wet. How is it so?
Danny two seconds ago. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> These are massive hailstones, they really hurt. Oh, Teddy. Nice again now. You alright, Mum? Yeah, it's a bit me. wet. <laughs> look yeah, at my no, jumpers. I'm fine. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> Bear's pleased because it meant that she only had to do five and a half minutes of galloping as opposed That's to seven. Not good. She needs to do another minute and a half. Should I take her back up this? Good girl, Bear. Absolutely drenched. Here for final badminton prep it is the Thursday. Is it Thursday it's before Thursday. badminton? And we've got Bear's massage therapist, Micro, here, just giving her a pre-event massage. As you can see, Bear's enjoying it. So how's she feeling, Micro? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. We've yeah. tried her up. She's looking... She's going to be tuned up good. after this. Yep. <laughs> Ready for action, Bear. <laughs> so we often get Micro... Well, we have her regularly anyway, but before big events, we'll get her to come out because the ponies absolutely love it, as you can see. And she gets them feeling all nice and supple. She gets any sore, tense bits to feel better. Hopefully get her moving nice in the dressage and jumping nicely. Let's hope. Hey, Teddy. And I'll put no Micro's excuse. details below if you want to have your ponies done. Oh, thank you. Because it makes you very happy, doesn't it, Bear? <laughs> My, Micro's been doing Bear since she came and she was a little weed. So you know her very well, don't you? Best decision you made. Keep yeah. <laughs> Best to say that a bit louder. Yeah. Good girl. Need to keep you, don't they, Ben? Yeah, definitely. Keep me forever, please. Oh, look at that! Really working. Oh, she loves that. Badminton prep is a dressage lesson. So it's the Friday before Badminton now. We're heading over to Leonie Brown, my dressage instructor, to go through the test because she's got a long arena so we can actually go through it properly because it's been hard to do at home. And yeah, just polish everything up. I did print off the test sheet for her to have in front of her, but I've left that at home so I'm gonna have to give it to her on my phone. <laughs> Mum's cross. So yeah, hopefully it'll go well. Counting down the days now, it's not long. I need a few more sleeps. Yeah, left foot, yeah. And that's where you say, look, if I want to put my leg on in the walk, don't yeah. jog. Yeah, so you half halt, put that leg on and say, come on, move sideways. Good. So right bend on, right leg on and say, come on, over. That's a better walk. And then trot. Otherwise, she just looks a bit cautious. She wants to. Yeah. But you half hold, put your leg on, say, wait. And then canter. Lovely. Very nice. Good. Very nice. If I was ultra critical, I'd want her more supple up there. So she was just a little softer, but still in that frame. Yeah. Good, push her sideways. Yeah, good. Nice one. If I go and do it on that far side for you to judge me more. Yeah, can't, yeah that would be, yeah. What did you think? <laughs> I think that the exercises that we have just done have helped that exercise no end. <laughs>
final leg of wow <laughs> wow there are some rolls yeah the final leg of badminton prep and that is packing the lorry so you'll see we've got lots of stuff we've taken out everything dirty and we're trying to repack it now you'll notice that uh, you're further away from me that's because we've done an amazon order and i've got a very cool selfie stick just look at the extension incredible so you can get every angle i can show you everything whoa also done as part of our amazon delivery i've got these cool battery stick on lights because you'll remember if you've watched my lorry tour vlog we don't actually have any electricity there's no leisure battery or anything and it doesn't have hookup so yeah no electricity so we've got these little lights battery powered you can stick them on and then you just push them and it'll give you a bit of light we have got lights in here but they run off the engine battery and we don't want to drain it obviously so we're just going to use these yeah looking pretty cool we're about to assemble the bed and decide whether it's big enough for mum and i because we don't oh, have a luton as you can see because we wanted a bigger payload so it's either we share this or she goes in the horse compartment or on the floor but we'll keep you updated i'll show you everything we've packed in a minute it won't be in a minute because we're doing it over the next three days it's still Friday. You'll notice because I'm in the same clothes as the dressage video you've just watched. Right, so you've got to think about these things before you go venting. So this is the bed. Obviously I'm on this side. We're just deciding if there's enough room. You need it in mine. I mean I think this is one of our only options. Actually I'd probably sleep on this. Yeah, you turn over that way. There, be fine. Aww. Okay. <sighs> Oh, I don't like it, I feel too close to you. <laughs> We've got an equal divide. Okay, it's not equal. I'll have this wide bit. Okay, you have the wide bit. Good night, Dick. Alright, no, 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 this will be fine. I reckon we do this. Okay, I'll get a sleeping bag so I have to touch you. Yeah, good. Oh, night, night ma'am. <laughs> Stop it. Alright, you might think we're in daylight, but all the blinds are shut. And it's just coming off these cool little stick-on lights. Look at that. Incredible. A great purchase and would highly recommend for those of you who have lorries that don't have batteries. Beautiful spotlighting. Right, it is my last ride before going to Babington on Monday. It's currently Saturday and Bear's having Sunday off. There's Mother. We've come to do a little fun ride in a bluebell forest it's like a charity ride that's been organized we just thought it'd be nice to take the girls out to do something fun and like fitting work but they enjoy it it's just nice them rather than hammer bear around around the school doing our dressage test I thought this would actually be more beneficial clear her head a bit it's a bit windy so mum's in a bit of a strop <laughs> But there are some little logs as well that we've been jumping. Well, I've been jumping. I'm trying to persuade mum to jump. You're not that keen on jumping, are you? Not doing any jumping. But Bear's done a few. Uh, Bluebell's coming up there. This is all oh, there, lovely. And I am wearing my lovely new Shires and Performance breeches. They're very, very comfy. Thoroughly enjoying them so far. I thought I'd give them a wear before Babington in case it bought me bad luck. But yeah, very impressed, would highly recommend. They're a really nice material, nice and comfy. You happy, Hobbit? Yay! <laughs> this is so nice! Little pan round. I love doing this sort of thing with the girls because it's just fun for them. There's loads of bluebells, very pretty. Right, we better get back to cantering.
prep continues. Mum and Dad are making racket outside, cleaning the lorry. <laughs> so I'm just doing the feed. So I think she's going to have five feeds when we're there, but you never know. So she's mainly on her performance now, because obviously big day coming up. So I'll take mainly that, but I am going to take a bit of the Pure Easy as well, just because it's got the balance so and I like it, like it can just bulk out her feed a bit more without having too much go faster rocket fuel. Um, tiny bit more for your performance. Big scoop of pure easy. Oops, don't spill. And then I'm gonna sort her supplements out, put that all in one tub, make it easier. And we've also, oh, I need to get some speedy beat just in case we have any trouble with her drinking because obviously you can wet that down a lot and make their feeds really wet and it will soak up a lot of water so we'll know that she's had some liquids because you never know if they're going to drink when you go to a stay away show and then that will be her feed sorted for the two and a bit days we're there exciting times and then we can finish cleaning and packing the lorry and we're ready to go Badminton really is a family affair. We've got Dad up here, <laughs> pressure washing the lorry for us. <laughs> Dressed specially for it. Yeah, he's put on a little summit summit for you. We've got Layla here, yeah. just making sure everything's going to plan. <laughs> and then Mum's been doing all important inside cleaning, haven't you? Meanwhile, I've been playing with feed. I've got the fun job. Yeah. <laughs> Put you back into it, Dad. pressure wash here, put some clean shavings in for bed for the journey tomorrow. So I've got stud cleaning going on there, they're in good soak so they're easy to get in, we'll oil them after. Got various washing on the line, got rugs and numbers that have been washed now. Up here we've got a brush and just everything producty station. So all of our brushes, everything in here, tack cleaner, hoop oil, fly spray if we need it, more tack cleaner, gel for her legs, like cooling gel, Vaseline, studs, everything you can imagine, baby oil obviously, I taught you that in one of my first vlogs, always use baby oil. The lorries continue to be cleaned, oh, dad, in the inside now. <laughs> Then over here, we've got start, yeah, starting to get our rugs ready. Hello, lady. We've got all of our feed in there, supplements, treats. Hopefully, we're gonna need them. We've got my little stall for plaiting because even though my pony's 14-1, I still use a stall for plaiting. And then Shire's rug that'll be going in. Give that a shake. Tap cleaning's gonna happen tomorrow morning because obviously I'm gonna ride. I'm not going to ride bear, but I've got to ride the babies. It's you? Oh, Laura, it's a selfie stick, man. <laughs> See, I can't clean bear's tap yet because they use her saddle. You also use it, don't you, darling? But yeah, and then pretty much all set to go. Mum's gone off to do a food shop to get everything we need. AC, get wet wipes, dry shampoo, everything that you can think of, hopefully. And then I think we're all done. My clothes are in the lorry. I can go over and show you that. So in 
here. Sorry, it's loud because Dad's pressure washing. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I've not got my Shires jacket. I need to go and get that. Obviously, wearing my um, brand new navy Shires show jacket, the dress on show jumping. thing. Got my lovely Shires coat there, back protector and air jacket. Stock and gloves and everything gets up there. Got my new Shires Portland performance breeches, they'll be going in. Also got my other Shires breeches for jumping. That's all in here. Flip flops, how organised is this for the shower block? And we're just walking around the lorry. We've also got slippers. Extra blanket in there. We need to put the bedding in. Mum's taking out the clothes. I do have a box full of all my other clothes, like stock shirts, cross country colours and stuff. I'm gonna get my jacket while I remember. But then I think that is pretty much everything. So I think that's all the lorry packing I'm gonna show you because it means I can then go and put this last bit in the vlog quickly and it'll hopefully be out tonight on the Monday. Sunday, it's Sunday, and then we're going on the Monday, but it means if I put it out tonight, I can reply to comments and things like that. So, massive thank you for watching, firstly, and a massive thank you to everyone that's appeared in this vlog because they've just been amazing. They're the people that help me out regularly, but also, there's so many other people that haven't been in this vlog that have just been a massive part of yeah, getting me here, whether it's our other physio we have, who Bear saw while well, I was in Canada, so still recently, but didn't get any film of that. Or just instructors over the years, I've had so many amazing instructors that have all helped with Bear, or even before I had Bear, helped me to get to the point I am now, to qualify and go to badminton. So yeah, very lucky to have a massive support network of family and friends, everyone that's helped me get here. And let's hope we have a successful time there. But regardless of how it goes, I think the aim is to complete. If I get through those finish flags on cross country day, it's gonna be amazing because Bear was never meant to go to Badminton. You know, we virtually saved her. God knows where she was off to before we got her. So yeah, she was never meant to get there. So just the fact we've got there is amazing. I just wanna enjoy myself and yeah, anything we do well, it's gonna be a bonus. So. Oh, I'm getting excited now, I think I'm less nervous and I'm more excited. So I'm going to finish putting this in the vlog and then come and give poor Dan a hand because he's been working relentlessly. Finish tidying up the lorry and I'd like to say get a good night's sleep but I won't. Oh, I'm also going to trim Bear's legs. She'll have a little tidy up but I won't bother vlogging that because it'll be boring. Oh, my heart's going. <laughs> So yeah, I think that is all of the badminton prep I will show you. Obviously, it's there's, it's just constantly ongoing, but if I did a vlog of absolutely everything, it would be hours long. And you guys don't want to see that. So yeah, I will see you after badminton. Fingers crossed. Fingers, fingers crossed. Oh, and one last big thank you is to everyone that actually watches these and supports me on my Instagram because it's just really nice having all these people, most of which I've never even met, but just, yeah, lovely having you all comment and support me, and when things go wrong, like at Solly Hole, you're always there, pick me back up again, so it's great, it's, yeah, you're the reason that I actually do these vlogs, and I'm so active on Instagram, so, thank you very much, I'll see you at Badminton, some of you I'll see at Badminton, because you've messaged me saying you're coming to watch, others I will see you after on my online presence, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye for now and see you at Badminton. Well, I'll actually start vlogging again tomorrow morning on our trip, but whatever. Bye.